today, we're gonna do what they did on Saturday, except I wasn't here on Saturday, so we all get to do it together like it's new. Yeah. As you guys may or may not have heard. On Saturday was the start of the Jubongo between Lee Sedol and Wu Lee, two of the top pros in the world. Um, yeah, Lee Sedol, I mean, for me, was one of my players I really like to watch a lot of games because he has this very crazy looking style where it's a lot of tanuki a lot of playing a stone over here, going something over here, going come back over here, come back over here, playing uh, all across the board. Um, plus, he is also the winner of the most downloaded game on the internet, the Lee Sedol ladder game. Where you can actually play out a ladder all the way across the board if you haven't seen that game. Uh, I should play it. I actually have a video where we, we talk about it in class a little bit. Um, but this is sort of the, you know, 10 game, you know, alternating color match between two of the world's best top players to sort of settle that dispute once and for all. Uh, there's a little bit of a nationalistic pride in this as well. Uh, you guys know where Lee Sedol is from? Korea, do you guys know where Lee is from? China. So there's a little... Yeah, I'm the youngest night on pro. Uh, so there's a little bit of a, of a, you know, nationalistic rivalry here as well. Um, but certainly undisputed two of the best, you know, players. Because Guli likes to catch you. I don't, I don't think Guli tanukis as much. Guli's, Guli's moves all make sense. Yeah. <laughs> well, sometimes. Sometimes, yeah. Okay. I've seen some Guli games before, and yeah, it's aggressive, but yeah. it makes sense. There's least there's least they don't move. I have to I have to I have to go forward in the game a hundred moves and then go, oh I guess that's why you put that stone there. That happens a lot. So in anyway, this game, Lee Sedol is black, Guli is white, and I'm I'm gonna try to I mean we're not gonna go through the whole game tonight, um, so take too long. Uh, but the spin that I wanna present this to you is through the eyes of, you know, whether or not you can tenuki, okay? So for both players, that's what I want to think about. That's what I want to try to analyze, you know, can this player tenuki or should this player tenuki? And I think these two pros give us some really interesting answers to that one fundamental question. Uh, it's kind of a fun way to look at a game if you think about it. It's sort of like push your luck a little bit, right? Because is he going to tenuki after the next move? After the next move? Who's gonna, you know, it's, it's, it's either every time they keep playing a move in a corner, you know, someone's gonna have to play away from it first. And in this game, they're gonna leave a lot of things unsettled for long periods of time. So, a little bit of a push your luck. Kind of thing. Uh, so, oh, I don't even remember the first, I just know the opening shape. What, is that the first move? I think it is. Yeah, yeah, okay. I should know which order the first four stones are put down on the board. Why does black do this? Yeah, it makes one side of the board bigger, right? You can do that if you're black. If you're white, you don't want to do this, right? If white's move was here, this would have been bad for white because asymmetry benefits the player who has the first move. So white makes his own side of the board bigger to sort of compensate. Black approaches on the bigger side of the board. This should all be like normal for you guys, right? Instinctual even, play the bigger side of the board. Right, Sol? Sully? Yes. Yes, good. I haven't seen you in a while. Good. Guli backs off high. We might read something into that. It's a little, I mean, this is certainly a slightly more normal kind of move, right? Be a little more defensive. This is saying, I'm going to develop, right? I care about the middle. It's a little more outward. Certainly makes a statement. And Yi Seitao, what is this called? Micro Chinese, right? Very, very fashionable right now. I'm interested to see how many more of these uh, Bongo games. There's nine more games, right? Ten game series. How often do you see this opening? I'm really curious. For, for mini Chinese or for which? Oh, just regular Chinese. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Chinese, yeah. But now, micro. All right, so... Black is sort of staking out this side. White is, is threatening to develop over here. What should white do? There's your first problem. What do you think? Do you know this, right? Do you remember? Or do you know? What would you, what would you do if you were playing? Oh, 
approach? Okay, so approach? No, high approach. Oh, high approach. Okay. Okay, you want you want outside? Yeah. Okay. So this move can get you that. However, the problem with this move is this tends to be not seen very often. It's seen as a little bit inferior. It gives up too much, too easily to black. Black's normal continuation here is like this. Uh, something like this, depending on spacing concerns, if we're playing defensive like this. Um, and the thinking is that this is, this is a Drosecki, of course, so this is playable for white. But it feels like black gets more, right? Black can keep developing, gets a big corner. White, especially if white extends a little bit further, has weaknesses left, not solid territory yet. So this is seen as inferior. It's playable. If you want to make sure your stones are on the outside and over here, this is okay. That's a little bit inferior. Um, it's not the move that gets played. So Tom says approach this corner from here. You think this is more developable for black? I mean, black stones are sort of facing that way, if you consider that like a very large enclosure. Yeah, this isn't bad thinking. Or, if you, or I guess you could split. Or you could play in here and just split up. I think, I think all, both of these are very, very reasonable moves. Also not what Ghoulie plays. Ghoulie was focused on this. Yeah, he's like, micro Chinese. Can't play micro Chinese. It's got defects. So, how do we attack this? First, completing the five stages of the opening. <laughs> My first, <laughs> doing the other traditional parts of the opening. We've been over so many times. A 17 there? Oh, 17, thank you. Oh, oh pincer. It's not a bad idea. However, I think black would actually be pretty happy here. This stone is really flexible, right? If you, like, I can tanuki right now. And then if you really try to kill me, I just go, na 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 I'm in the corner now. I think stone is helpful for living in the corner. If you decide to take the corner, like this. Well, there's still Aji here. If you take the corner like this, I can still get out or attack. So Ghoulie wants to be able to attack this thing. But he kicks it first. That's the move. Because if you guys know, what do you guys know about spacing of your stones? If I have a stone on a third line, another stone at the third line, how far apart can they be? Can be a defensive base. That, that prevents an invasion, right? That's not a defensive structure. If I have a stone, yeah, two space extension, right? That's defensive. What if I have a wall? What if I have a bigger wall? And what if I have this? Not invincible, no. <laughs> white can actually invade in here. White not necessarily live outright, okay, but black black's moves are difficult. There, there's a, a chance to split. So what white is trying to do is trying to get black to do this. And if black can do this, white can go, oh, two stones. That means you should have a three space extension. One, two, three. Oh, no stone. I attack you now. You have no stone. This is the game. Why is this move so important? Yeah, it helps block out the corner, and, and more importantly, it makes heavy. black commit. Heavy, right? If I don't make black add an extra stone over here, if I try to attack this, black just doesn't care. This is saying, okay, you have two stones. Do you care about two stones now? Just double the points. Anyway. I'm not understanding. I right, here, come show me. I don't know what you're talking about. Yep, it's okay. Before, 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 
good. Uh, in, in this example, yeah. black isn't really black. At any point, black can just go over here and go over here. Um, or black can just attack white. You know, depending on how black wants to go. But here, it really does feel like black is the one who's under attack. That's the difference. All right, so now that black's under attack, what do you think the Seidel does? Tanuki, of course. <laughs> this is the moment. So why do you think Lee Seidel can Tanuki here? It's actually really, even though black doesn't have a base, doesn't have any friends, black can't live easily. Hey, Chris. Sounds terrible. I know, black is in, under a lot of pressure. So, but there's no really good continuation for if you're white, if you're the white player. It's it's hard to see how we can kill black directly. Black still has moves like this. Uh, black can even still use this corner Aji if we eventually just want to give up. Um, black can still get out. Uh, probably can't cap, but can certainly lean on the white stone a little bit. We can even play a move like this if we get in the red level, which is a cool Sabaki move, or we invite white to poke us out, and then we. Squeeze, white, squeeze all around white, give up a couple stones, and make a strong outside. Lots of cool moves here. Uh, so, black wants the Tanuki. And I, I, I think if you ask you know, Lee Seidel, and I don't really know this, okay? I don't really, I don't have, a, I don't have phone calls with Lee Seidel about this sort of stuff. But I bet if you ask Lee Seidel if he was Tanuki in here, he would say no. But he totally does. He plays over here. But well, my bet is that for him, this, he doesn't see this as a tanuki. He sees this as, oh, well, I'm, I'm not attack, being attacked by white. I'm putting pressure on white here, and I'm putting pressure on white here. And because it takes too many moves for white to completely surround this, these are, these are still very strong. Can I say something? Yeah. Oh, here's, uh, it's normally really bad. Yes. Why? Yeah, so why is it? Because those two stones on the side is very strong. And then when that attacked, it would be sent on the wall, on the wall. Yeah, so, then, so this is, the, you guys all know this, right? You have a group that's dying, really big trouble, right? And you go make another weak group. How many of you have done that in the game? All the hands should go up, right? Something's in trouble, and you're like, oh, I don't know what to do with that, let's go make another weak group. And then that way your opponent attacks both. This is really bad in terms of Go Theory. And then, uh, but this is what Lee Sadol does, and he's really good at doing. I can't explain it. We're going to try, but... Yeah. Okay, so what do you think white does? White does... Yeah, we have to attack, right? We just saw black just made another weak group. We have to make keep both groups as weak as possible. Maybe you can run them together and attack both. So how do we attack? So extension here. 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 Now, Tom's worried about this move. Because now it feels like these stones are the ones who are getting under attack. Because it's going to make what? For, for here? This move's fine. This move's great. If we do this, I'm, I'm happy as black. Yeah, I know these are in danger. Yeah, but that's Lee Sadol, okay? <laughs> Given that these are in danger, I'm pretty happy because I almost have a base over here. I only have one new group to worry about for the time being. Uh, over here? Yeah. Oh, we have moves like this, and like this, and like this, and we could even just, oh, maybe come out there. Man, that's a little too thin. There? A lot of moves, put a lot of pressure on white. So if I got this, I, I feel like black might get a, a tempo. 
And if not, at least the tempo black has a lot more chances to take away all these points too. So Ghoulie plays over here. Where should black go? But there's a weakness. But it's least at all. So we play, we'd play this, right? Normally make two space extension. Where does white play? Very good. Three, four. When white has stones here and here, these two stones are not very safe. Right? Any point white can throw in a stone under here and you have no eyes. That's the move. Yes. We're gonna be if we if we play soft, if we play or solid I guess I should say. White still gets points in the corner, still gets to attack us. If we go all the way, well white can still attack us. But maybe we can counterattack. Something like this? Are we possible? So Black's a little greedy here. But in that greed there's actually a lot of flexibility. You want that? If you really want this stone, that's fine. I'm gonna go pressure this guy. This stone, because I played closer. If I play too far away, I don't get the same pressure. So we say to all plays this. Alright, white's turn to Tanuki. Yeah, it seems like we should play somewhere around here. But he doesn't. I think White's thinking, and again, I don't know Ghoulie. We don't have, you know, Skype. <laughs> I think Ghoulie thinks this stone is strong. Why does Ghoulie think this stone is strong? It's easy to run, it's out. And it's one of the really key pieces of information. Yeah, if you assume these two are weak, that means you're strong. So if you're strong here, that means you can invade here. Dangerous, though. All right, so Black's looking at this. Black does not Tanuki. Black goes, oh, you have a stone here and a stone here. Split. Nine down promo. Good job. Uh, which stone needs more help? <laughs> which side do you play as white? long ago. You're still trying to kill them? Oh, good for you. <laughs> now you can't attach over here, right? Now you have problems. You can't make a base over here. Black can solidify the position. Because Black knows at any time Black can come back and just do this. Right? Black can just come back. And come back. Um, it it either makes eyes or connects, yeah. Either one. Let me just try something like this. Uh, this just works because of the clamp. Oh, well, I can't defend. Yeah. It's a powerful move. This little submarine kind of link up move. Very difficult to split. Maybe you try something more. Um. Oh, I don't know. Now this is hard. Okay, so, well, well, okay, if, if we just give those up, which was Black's plan originally, Black gets really strong in here. And actually, I'm not even sure, because there's this extension. We have to read this out first. There might be this cut in here. Some giant evil badness. But even if we just give it up, it's still going to be Gote for white. And Black is super strong here. So that's, that's, this is like the worst, perhaps the worst case scenario for black. 
It's black, it's a free Panuki, super solid wall, in Sente. It's worst case scenario. Uh, so, after black plays this, my number white plays. No, no, it's, no, Lee Sadol is going to be in charge with Tanuki, I think. Hmm? This is that move. That's why white plays this. It also puts a little pressure over here. There might be an, another invasion point. White be able to make the move. And most importantly, now black cannot connect up with these stones. These stones are very, very much in trouble. If not already dead. So, all right, after all these exchanges, Lee Sato goes, oh yeah, remember those two stones? <laughs> let's, <laughs> let's go fishing. See if we can catch two stones, pull them out of the lake. The lake. This move is a move I would never play. This is why I suck at go, I guess. This move is terrible. Right, from my perspective, right, from my, you know, amateur John level perspective. Why is this move so terrible? Uh, making white stronger. Do you see, like, white actually still has these weaknesses? If I play this, white's gonna go there. Like, I would, that's what I would play. That's what Gu Li plays. Like, every Go player goes there. All these weaknesses go way down in terms of their threat level. Right, we go from like code orange on all of them, like all the way down to like code green. It's like, and is black alive yet? No, black's life looks terrible right now. Black is going to get attacked for the next 30 moves. There is no way in a game I'm playing this move. It's just terrible. He played all. <laughs> and he plays another bad move. This move looks stupid too. No, this time white actually goes here. Because white, white realizes, okay, if I just take all my points, these three stones might come under attack. Black might just have enough strength to attack them. So let's prevent that from happening, right? Keeps the cut alive. It's white, the black Black has Tsuji. This wedge really cool. And Black needed, needed to recognize this, this point, rec recognize this to Suji when he plays both of these moves. You know, four moves ago. Oh yeah, Black, Black, Black sees all. <laughs> Maybe not all, but there's, there's, Black had a plan here. All right, first question, can White just kill the stone? Black plays this. Where do you go now, White? On this side or this side? Okay. So now Black plays here. Actually, maybe Black plays this one first. That one's better. Yeah, that one first. This. And White has to. That's. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that gets captured. Game over. Black plays here. Can you play here? Game over. Nope. Can you play here? I think that's a hair better. But actually, no. That's that's probably maybe that's no. It's, that's probably that's probably best. I think I'm I'm changing my mind. That's best. But. Black goes here. Capture here? Or, oh, capture here? I think I think this cuts bigger. Maybe we take this Atari. And then, we, then we descend. And then we descend. And then we play here, and then we Atari, I don't know, and then we Rebel, we cut off the white stone, we made this super strong now. It's a fair exchange actually, right, if black gets all this yeah. and all this. Possible. Okay, there's, there's just one variation, there's a lot of bad things that can actually happen. 
Let's take these off though. I don't want to get too sidetracked in these variations today. Oh, that one's there, that one's there. All right, but we're looking at this wedge. There we go. There's a lot of bad stuff that can happen. And plus, if we actually just let black connect here, you still get to attack black. It's really not that bad, right? So white plays here. Uh, important. Black connects. And white says, yep, okay, what are you gonna do? You suck. Nowhere to go, no friends. Big black group with nothing. <laughs> black plays the double digit Q move. Run. Just run. Slowly. Diagonally. Uh, white could keep up the attack, but it looks like if white does, white's going to lose tempo and black will get out sooner. We're not really sure how that's going to go yet. Um, and we still have some top potential for cuts in our own shape if we go too quickly. Uh, so white plays this. Absolutely defends the corner. All right. Before this, there's actually still Aji here. Believe it or not. It's actually still a weak point. All right, if white just simply defends, black just comes underneath. If white defends this way, we get this crazy thing. So white wants to defend this corner, maybe help link up. Uh, black plays here just to... Hmm? Oh. oh, but I like it when black has that. Black comes underneath just to prevent the link up. And white needs to play a shape move just to get more strength, so white plays here. If this becomes strong, now what becomes weak on this board? These two stuff, right? White is gaining more strength, so hopefully white can attack this. Black plays a cool sequence. This is really just, you know, kind of, it's, it's really, well, here's a question. Is this sente for black? Let's move right here. It's not absolute sente. If we want to keep attacking black, we have to play. But, you know, it's not. It does make the 3 3 interesting. Black wants to make sure that not only black gets this move, but black gets Aji in the corner for later or end game. So there are all these cuts, so let's just go exploring. There's a little game. Let me go forward a few moves here. Have to defend. Has to come out. Has to defend. Comes out one more time. That's the one that I think will be hard to see. Just gain an extra liberty for black. Because uh, what white would really want to do is just come under here, right? Do something like this. But why doesn't white do that? I don't know. I didn't read this out. You think this one? I'm not sure it's big of a big of a problem though. Should I throw in the piece? Here, I don't know. Here, there's your homework. Go solve that. Figure out why white just can't do that. Can black throw in? Uh, a throw in yeah. here? Where? Cut. Cut. What cut? Oh, throw in there? Yeah. yeah. Um, is this that? Okay, Zoe is going to practice reading. That's good. Uh, I don't know. Do that for homework. Good. Mike comes back and feels compelled to play there. Uh, Black throws in for this cut now. White plays here. Black takes that. Yeah, that's the right move. Oh no, sorry, black doesn't white doesn't take. What does white do? White plays here. Yeah, there is a there is a weak point in that shape. Yep. 
Okay, so Black got this for free. And still has three a group of three liberties over here in the corner. And kind of a weak white shape over here and a potential weakness over here. That will come back later, later. We're not going to get that far in the game tonight, but... I'll tell you, it's, it's actually... Uh, at least it all ends up making these live. Just because... <laughs> Uh, so I mean, Black finally gets out, and uh, you know, feels good, right? We didn't get in too much trouble. We got a strong attack over here. We might have a weak white group to attack. Most of our stones look relatively safe. Feeling good? White plays here. Again, make the middle stronger. Make the weak group. Keep the pressure on the black group. All right. Do you think Black just happily connects? No, never. Yeah. Well, not really. I mean, again. Like, oh, you're trying to make this stronger? Oh, I'll keep it weaker. Large knight connection. What else does this move do? Yeah, this area over here expands it, makes this stone look even weaker. So now white says, oh, you think you're killing this? All right, let's find out. Play some moves. Uh, black place here. What do you guys know about large knight's extensions? They can be cut. They have weaknesses. All right, what do you do is black? How? this one. Oh, no, that yeah, this has some Aji issues. Believe it or not. There's some there's some issues here. So black does indeed play this way. White just extends. Black just connects. Everyone just wants to be strong. Everyone is just looking for, you know, strength. Doesn't want to lose any weaknesses at this point. All right, these two stones maybe made white a little bit stronger, right? Because white can now kind of come out and go this way. So guess what it's time to do now? Attack! Remember how black didn't connect over here? You guys remember that? That was kind of important. That's how he split. What does this move do? Yeah, lean on these black stones so you can attack this one. Very, very common technique, right? It does, right? This is, this is a huge loss for white. Black can just come over here and play this. This is not what Lee Sadol does. But yeah, this is a huge minus. We have to make sure this attack on this black group is incredibly severe because we just lost a major weakness on the board that we have for ourselves. So, what do you think Lee Sadol does? And again, I would say he tanukis. I think Lee Sadol would say... There it is. Well, well, he, he's, he, he's, he's... Again, the, game, the name of the game is... Hey, if my stones are strong, your stones are weak. If your stones are weak, that means my stones are weak. Right there. And again, yeah, this is nice, right? You know, again, exposes these weaknesses, the pokes, black can come out this way and threaten to capture. Hurts these two stones a lot. So, again, I know, and you play it, you're like, why are you leaving your weak group alone? You have to help your weak group. Play over here, so big. So urgent. No, we play this. White well, immediately goes into countermeasure mode, right? You know, man all stations, get ready for the all out fight that's happening. So, we start poking out potential eyes. We don't want to give the black any sort of advantage here. We also need to make ourselves a little bit stronger. So again, all hands on deck. And those outs 
He's already sent in with you. Black has to respond here. White fixes as well. Uh, here Black plays a move that I think... Well, I'll, show it. I'll show it to you. I think it's a move that you guys screw up a lot. That's all I'll say. Okay? But this is one of those times where Black really should just play that. This is the second time Black has played an incredibly slow move to run this group away in super slow motion. Why does Black play this and not this? Yeah, white. Yeah, later on, especially if this, especially if this stone gets a little bit stronger and threatens, you know, there is this major cut. Here. Black is go strong, no weaknesses, no weaknesses. Um, okay, Ghoulie's time to turn to Tanuki. I don't really know. I don't know. I, I, I'm assuming Ghoulie's trying to figure out how strong if he can save these two stones. And if White just has a little bit more of a counterattack here, right? If I'm strong here, you're weak here, and therefore these are alive. Kind of out, okay, can I make these a little bit stronger first, and then save these stones, and that way I save them with momentum by attacking I think that's what he's doing. Uh, Black just flat out just doesn't care. Remember this giant corner we took? Attack one. We had one, two, three, four, five, six black stones, all attacking one white one. It was glorious. This is what Go players dream about at night. And white threatens to live and take away all of it. Black just doesn't care. Maybe, maybe black. Maybe that's what Lee Sadol thinks. Oh, I have too many stones here. <laughs> that's clearly what he thinks. I just want to pack more stones. Yeah, well, well, remember, if the goal is to make these weak, how does this move help these? Well, not only weakens, it does something very directly. No eyes. Okay, no eyes. What else? Really obvious, guys. Yeah, there's a cut here, right? If White gets this cut, these are basically as good as gold, right? Can't, White can't attack them. So, again, this is an example of when Lee said all tanukis, right? Oh, you're going to threaten to take all my corner? Eh, whatever. Over here. Right? Here? It actually looks like that works. This doesn't work. What are you talking about? Yeah, it's this way. Okay, okay, black Oh, no, That was a terrible move, Tom. You have failed at playing your 9-Don Pro opponent. <laughs> but it does threaten this cut, right? So, you know, his GI shape threatens this cut. Alpha might help us with this cut later on, right? Because if white doesn't fix, this peep I get for free. And if I get this peep for free, that means I can get this. Huge shape point, right? Because this actually looks like white, you know, they're just cut ladder thing. So lots of really cool stuff. This is where the action is. Lee Sailor just doesn't care. Right, just, whatever, you're mess, you messed up. That's not where you're supposed to be playing right now. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, as, as, again, as long as we have this cut and these stones are strong, I don't really need these cuts. Or over here? Oh yeah, but this us go. Okay, anyway, White realizes, I guess his mistake, I assume White thought this was going to get a response out of Black, like, I, like White was trying to, you know, get another forcing move and then come back and play here. At least they'll take the initiative right away. Instead. Says, okay, you want a 20 point corner? Okay. Bam. Because Ghoulie now has to come back and fix this, right? Because I just sure get out of their poke shape and their eye shape. Lots of bad stuff. And immediately, yes. Black cuts this off. Takes profit. Uh, however, it's not all sunshine and rainbows, so I can get something through. Uh, black is just 
there's a lot of little shape reading kind of sequences to be done here. Um, but again, they're basically just trying to alternate saving and killing these stones off. Uh, keeping them separated. White connects. Black connects. White connects. And now black, we're basically back to where we started, right? With a black group here. Remember how we had two stones here that was running? Still a case. We had a weak white stone here that was running. That's still a case. We had a black kind of wall thing here. Well, that's kind of been split and splitting the other group. How many, yeah. We have a big white weak group. We have a big black weak group. We have a potential black weak group here, and another potential black weak group here, another weak white group here. Enjoy. Let's go. Oh yeah, nobody has eyes. There's just no eyes. Uh, it looks like black needs to defend this cut, right? So black needs to find a move to prevent white from settling easily. But black's more concerned about these stones. Black sees these two stones as more important, right? Because these are the two stones uh, that are already kind of half surrounded by white and that are separated by the two groups, right? So these are the two stones you really can't let bad things happen to. And in fact, even if white just gets this, they're, they're basically toast. I mean, this is really hard to get out of. So, half to save them. So black plays here, right? Threatening to cut this off. Um, White just goes and takes this. Uh, I'll see here, make sure I get the sequence right. Two, three. Um, sure. White completes the cut. This white group is now more or less safe. These two stones are now strong because they can link up. Black got the corner though, but it makes these three stones weak. And uh, I don't know anymore. Again, I wasn't, I, I know on Saturday we had the, the commentary by Ming Wang Kim and he would probably explain this a lot better than I. And nor have I really looked at this game long enough to really weigh all the pros and cons. But yeah, I think Black's going, oh, this, this got interesting again. I can take some profit in Sente, and I'm happy to give these up because I already gave this one up, right? Black doesn't care about these if he gives up this one. So then Black can come back here and keep up the attack. Uh, here we go. So Black actually finishes this, takes some points. White tries to push through to finally defend against this cut. Atari, connect. Atari, now white's behind this black group, so it's now it's white's turn to come out. Um, you're thinking this? Yeah. Well, um, first of all, what's your plan? Black, I guess that's a bad move. Black just does that. One eye does not make you alive. Black still gets to attack you. Do you want to be the attacky or the attacker? And bonus, if you're the attacky, I'll give you one eye. I think that's I think that's the uh, the reasoning here. As if white plays here, both black groups are still weak. Even though I don't have any eyes, I'd rather be the attacker. Black takes this immediately. White doesn't want to give up. Black comes here. Uh, these groups are weak. This is weak. Helps group and also potentially helps this later on too. Um, you know, and if black does make it over here, right, this group becomes strong, might even be a wall, might build a lot of points. Black only has to worry about one group and makes it a really easy game. White can't let that happen. Try to take more profit, keep up the attack. They play this wall out. Oh, not quite. Black takes this immediately, just this bamboo joint. 
threatens to cut. And now we resume building wall. And black's super safe in the corner, right? So there's no harm at making a giant white wall here, right? No harm in it. Black has everything to gain and nothing to lose. White plays one more. And here we go. What did we get? What just happened? Yeah, super weak white group, giant black wall. Good job, Black. That's what you're trying to do and go. All right, we're only going to do a couple more moves. Sorry to disappoint you, but I don't want to finish the whole game. White just comes out. More diagonal. More di you got to get away from the wall. <laughs> just got to get away from the wall, right? If we just follow this wall down, bad news. All right, next move for Black I really want to show you. Actually, no, we're making one more exchange first. White wants to make sure there's no link up here. Can always scoop out eyes if white can get a base on here. We can attack the giant wall later. All right, black, your time to find a move. I guess keep attacking the white group. Good, how? Um, Let's look at candidates. Uh, oh. Try to, try to get a large amount. I would be elephant jump. Elephant jump like here? Yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> That's the move. Yes. Nine Don Pro, Z Way. Good job. <laughs> well, it's not that quiet because it's, you, want, you want to go into this wall and then black, white, you're under it. Yeah, why, here, here, here's the key, okay? This is a really cool move, right? We want to keep attacking white, keep forcing white against the wall. Why, but elephant jump leaves a weakness. So normally we can't attack like this, right? This is stupid. However, in this case, it's glorious. Why is it okay to attack like this here? Yeah, look. White plays here, black cuts. There's no weakness there for black. It doesn't exist because white played this diagonal over here. Really cool. Yeah, this is, this is, this is you know, something for me that, like this is at my level of play where it's not a, it's not a move that I would instantly recognize. Oh, I'm like, yeah, that one. I just want to hit it. I just realized how amazing it is. Yeah, when we play here, as long as we have a stone here, that means this point is also kind of strong for us, right? Because white can't play here and expect his, all of his stones to be linked up. So if this point is strong for us, it's like we already have a stone here. So if we already have a stone here, we could have a stone here, right? No problem. That's kind of cool. Uh, so when black plays this, yeah. Right? This move is normally bad because of this weakness, but white has no authority to play it. Right, that's right. We have cut, cut. Yep. Yeah, then it's no good, right? If we don't have this black wall here, this fails. Right? You need to have strength over here. Yeah. Oh, all this? Yeah. Oh, yeah, but you don't have to, I mean, even at your level, you don't have to be able to read all this out. You just need to see, hey, I have weak group, white has a weak group. If I make this group stronger, then I can attack white. That's all you need to know. If this group never becomes strong, when these two groups are fighting, this group is then going to make this group weak and I'm in trouble. So, again, it's just, it's just that preemptive ability to be able to take a weak group, lean on something, get white to follow you along. You know, white, in retrospect, probably, I don't know if this is a wrong move or not, but building this wall here for white is probably a mistake. I mean, in the grand scheme of things, white, white got greedy here. Um, although, in white's defense, actually, maybe white's not greedy. White, white just wants to be alive. That's probably the real reason. Because there's still Aji here. 
So if white doesn't build this wall and black surrounds this, black might be able to kill all this. Especially after this Panuki is here. So maybe it's not even white being greedy, it's just white trying not to die. And uh, black gets a wall out of it. Um, we'll just do a couple more moves. Just to show you how this attack goes. Goes another one. And finally, just black comes over here and starts to save this wall, or at least get points out of it, compensation. White sort of squirms over here, eventually becomes safe. And uh, white eventually does get to play this cut, but black doesn't care because there's, black's not trying to develop this. Black was just trying to get a bunch of free moves on both sides uh, in the meantime. Um, yeah. No, well, it's sort of, well, no, but again, that's a lie, so that's sort of like dying. I think everything eventually lives, more or less. Let me skill, uh, kind of scroll forward. Even black eventually has to come back here and play this, so this all turns into black points. Actually, black captures this entire corner. Uh, actually, capturing the corner is, uh, I'll try a little bit of this idea. White eventually come, you know, gets strong enough here, but still doesn't have an eye shape, so white crawls this way. And when white starts to do this, black starts a leaning attack, right? Now we're gonna lean on the corner. White has to decide, okay, does white want this group to become safe or do we wanna protect the corner? If we protect the corner, what's happening to this group? Yeah, no friends, gonna die. So white just gives up the corner. And make this live over here. <laughs> you gotta have priorities in go, John, you know? If the group is going to die. Make sure it doesn't. Lee Sadal wins this game. Here, let me keep going. I'll find this corner sequence in the bottom left. That's pretty cool. Black eventually gets this. Yeah, so black eventually gets this and that. All right, response here. Yeah, so uh, black gets this Atari. I'm not sure if, if Guli just missed this or what happened or he was hoping. Um, I, one, of the, one of the things I, I saw online just said that he was just hoping for a place to resign and just knew he was behind. He was, I don't know, just pretending. Um, yeah, there's a few more moves in this corner. I'll show you this corner because it's cool. Okay. Black just throws a stone in here. White plays here. Black takes this Atari. Uh, do, 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 do. Black plays here. It's a good end game. White plays here. White peeps. All right, they play a bunch more stuff around the board. I'm skipping all of this stuff, obviously. Uh. I'm not sure exactly why at the moment, but white eventually comes back and plays this and feels pretty safe. Uh, I guess after that, white can oh, play end game like this late, late in the game. They play more, more, more end game. All right, and eventually black gets this and this move, like late end game, almost all the points are gone. Black plays this one. Uh, let's take another point over here. All right, Black, your move. It's a go problem. Uh, the sound. Uh, if you, oh, yeah, if you descend. Where? Uh, one, the first line. Yeah, I'll be okay. <laughs> Which uh, one? The stone. So this one? Yeah. Okay, so I can't take a target from one side. If he comes down on the other side, and then you go to the third line, why does that go in? This is not the right answer. Why does that go in? These three are dead, right? Are the four dead? Maybe. Maybe. Uh, oh, well, okay, what about going to the third line first? Like this? Do we have an idea? 
Where? Say it. Throw in where? That one? Capture? I think it's capture, right? The co? Capture the co? Looks like capture maybe, or co maybe? Co? Yeah, can play this way, can't play that way. Have to play this way? So, uh, no. Uh, oh, sorry, why, why, why not just um, descend and reduce the slide chunks to one liberty? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm just. Uh, Unless that creates some problem at the bottom. This doesn't work quite like this yet. But what if we don't play this out yet? What if we just play here directly? This is this is the move, right? This is the last move of the game. We say it all plays down. Yeah, so it's White's move. So, Oh, is that cool? Okay, so white can't let that happen, right? That's Seki. You guys saw that Seki? So white plays. What if white plays here? Well, black can still play Ko, or at least throw throw in this Ko's, right? White can just take. Okay, now what? The trick. Do the trick. No. No. Yeah, let's go there. Hmm? Hmm? Come on. Yeah. And now, go. Half the player. Yep. Go for everything. Yeah, so I'm not sure why Gooey never responded to this move. That one little push, this, 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 it looks like a Dame push. But it's... It's Ko. Yeah, yeah, but it's still Ko. White can make a move, black responds, white takes back. Yeah, because it's Ko. <laughs> Ko for white, you mean? Oh, yeah, there's... <laughs> I don't know what happened to Gooley here, but again, what I read is, I mean, he was already behind in the game, and he kind of lost after getting this group attack so severely. As soon as Black plays, this game's over. Whew. Only nine more of these to go. No, it's, it's like, uh, I don't know the schedule. You can look it up online. It's like a month. It's like a month. It's going to be going out for the rest of the year, pretty much. Maybe a few weeks. I don't know, just type in Lee Sadal Guli Jubango. Yep, we got, we got this. So, all right, what do we learn about tanuki -ing? Let's go back to the original topic at hand. Was there any learning? Strong, weak, tanuki. Strong, weak, tanuki. Got it. Well, at least Lee Sadol can. Lee Sadol can. <laughs> but, you know, here's, here's my mission for you guys. I'm hoping that you can take that skill, right, and at least try to think about it in your own games, right? Apply that skill, right? It's not really tanking if you are, again, taking some weak stones and making them stronger in a different way, right? making something else weaker. It's sort of that yin that strong is now making something else look weak. Zero sum game, right? So, I mean, that, that applies not only to just the individual points on the board, the individual you know tactics, but really the overall strategies as well, which includes that whole idea of Tanuki, uh, which I think Lee Sale does very, very well, and Guli does too. I mean, he does it a few times in this game, although 
This one might over here might have been one tenuki too many. Uh, gave him a lot of ills after that that push because he had no eye shape after that. Had to run. Uh, so yeah. So you guys want to play some go?